NBA players, referees planning meeting at All-Star Weekend to address rising tensions. After months of high-profile ejections and superstar frustrations in the NBA, and with tensions between players and officials so high that their respective heads of state spent more than two hours meeting on the matter in December, the two sides finally agree on one thing, something must be done to relieve all this tension. It's time for a good, old-fashioned meeting of the minds. According to National Basketball Players Association Executive Director Michelle Roberts, that private meeting, which will include three players on one side, three officials on the other and potentially a moderator, will take place on February 17 during All-Star Weekend in Los Angeles. And for the sake of all involved, they're hoping this rarest of scenes leads to some resolution. The meeting is shaping up, Roberts, who hosted National Basketball Referees Association General Counsel Lisa Ahim for that two-plus-hour meeting last month at the NBPA's office in New York, told USA Today Sports by phone. The conversations will not be open to the public. I think if the aim is to have candid discussion between the players in attendance and the officials in attendance, I think it needs to be done without a third party, including, frankly, even perhaps me or others being there. I'm looking forward to it. I think it will be both spirited and enlightening. Even the conversations I've had with Lee, there have been things that I have not, frankly, been aware of in terms of the kinds of pressures that, officials, are under. So, I think it's a useful step. Walton's safe. Lakers coach Luke Walton's job isn't in danger amid Lavar Ball turmoil evolution of an all-star. Raptors DeRozan adds new wrinkle to offensive game Jalen Brown, Trump makes it more acceptable for racists to speak their minds while player ref conflict has always been an unavoidable part of professional sports, most agree that this NBA season has been worse than most in terms of the rapport, or lack thereof, between both sides. The incidents have certainly involved stars, among them the Cleveland Cavaliers LeBron James. First ejection of his career on November 28, the New Orleans Pelicans' Anthony Davis. First ejection of his career on November 29, and, last but certainly not least, the Golden State Warriors duo of Draymond Green and Kevin Durant, the two league leaders in technical fouls, with 19 combined. But no situation was more symbolic than the December 3rd headbutting between official Courtney Kirkland and the Warriors' Sean Livingston with Kirkland being removed from the referee's rotation for a week as a result in Livingston suspended one game. On Monday, after Green told The Athletic recently that officials were ruining the game and that the NBA should get a new crop, the Warriors forward was fined $25,000 by the league. I think if nothing else, and, the improvement, may be modest, but having had the conversation, with the officials, and having our players go back and report to the rest of the guys and those officials going back and having their conversations, this meeting, will make some difference," Roberts said. At least people will have a better sense of what is on the minds of the other group. Follow USA Today Sports Sam Amick on Twitter.